A special thanks to Auto2000 Suchi for allowing me to film their vehicles. Information is provided down below. Hello there, this is a full in-depth tour with you of the 2023 Toyota Kijan Interface Zenix 2 liter in the v trim during the exterior, engine and interior. Here's the key valve for the inner valve for all trim levels, keyless type. This has power foldable side door mirrors which has auto folding. Lock the car, side door mirrors fold in. Unlock the car, side door mirrors do fold out. The exterior colour is platinum white pearl. All trim levels of the Innova have keyless entrance standard. The car is currently unlocked. To lock the car, there is this indentation on the door handle. To unlock the car, simply grab the door handle. Black and brown combination cloth seats. Unlike the two previous Innovas, they're not that high up. Three spoke lower wrap multifunctional steering wheel. For transmission, the Innova gasoline comes with a CVT shot for continuously variable transmission. Manual shifting mode by the gearbox. Place the car in reverse. There is a reversing camera with guidelines, front and rear parking sensors. All universe come with electronic parking brake with the older hole feature. The parking brake is going to engage. To disengage, you put your foot on the brake and push this button down. To engage it, simply pull it back up. Eco driving mode, button to deactivate your traction control. Now let's take a look at the exterior. Turn on the headlights. For the wheels, this has 17 inch five twin spoke alloy wings, locked in, NSA, Dunlop. 215-60R17 tyres After almost 18 years of conquest, when Toyota sold the Kijang Wagon, it was then replaced by the Innova in 2004 which spanned three generations. However, Indonesia retained the Kijang name for Innova. The Innova is a mid-sized MPV, multi-purpose vehicle, however the third generation made to look like a unibody medium SUV, similar to Highlander SUV. This leads on to the third generation Innova, featured in this video, was unveiled and launched last November 21st via a YouTube live stream event in Indonesia. Current trim levels are G, V and Q, with pricing starts at 419 million Indonesian rupees, the model list to styling pack is available for V Hybrid and Q, costs almost 10 million rupees. In Indonesia, it is marketed as Kijang Innova Xenix. The latest Innova AG10 is based on a full unibody Toyota New Global Architecture platform. Unlike the two previous Innovas, which both used body on frame setup, the latest Innova shares its platform with the Corolla Cross. For the design, the all new Innova Xenix is now crossover SUV of an elegant theme. I think it looks not only handsome, it is refreshing in white. I think this is the best looking Innova I had ever seen. For the front, there are automatic LED headlights and reflectors instead of projectors connected to hexagonal honeycomb black grille, a 3D Toyota logo and trapezoidal black fog light housing blanked out on V trim, merged with thin black piece in the centre. For the side, the Innova is an SUV evident by black wheel arches. Other interesting details are an angled rear quarter window, 
and rear door window separation. Around the rear, there are LED rear lights connected to wraparound spoiler with gloss black side panels. The rear looks good. Not to forget, the D pillar is intentionally sloped forward so the Innova is not an ugly minivan. Salama de la Pambalas Tahun, the Bikira Cam, Sat Inni, Toyota Teleta Joel Lebidawi, Sambalan Waters Tujipolu Ribu Unit, Pada Kijang Innova de Indonesia, Innova MPV Yang di Gambakan, Mundane. Biasa niya di gunakan untuk transportasi kelarga besar dalam perjalanan dewat, serta taksi pribadi dan amada. Babak baru dimulai dengan Innova Xenix terbaru bagi yang paling seru yang mesin hybrid dan feature hiburan baru diam-diam datang. For engines, the Kijang Innova Xenix comes with two choices, a regular petrol or electrified petrol known as the hybrid. Unfortunately, there were zero Innova hybrid units in this showroom for this video is the Innova V petrol. Hopefully, I will make a video on an Innova hybrid. Under the bonnet, is a 2 litre, inline 4, 16 valve, dual overhead cam, naturally aspirated petrol engine. This engine is equipped with dual VVTi, short for dual variable valve timing with intelligence, and direct port injection D4S system. This engine produces 174 horsepower at 6600 rpm and 205 Nm of torque between 4500 to 4900 RPM. All Innovas have a 52 letter fuel tank and comes with front wheel drive, which benefits from increased passenger space and allows the Innova to use electrified hybrid engines. Front doors have hard plastic materials on the top and bottom, soft materials. The doors are of a door tone colour, brown and black. For electric window controls, the driver's side window is automatic in both directions, and down the only side to get the automatic function. Central locking, window lock, mirror controls, this has power foldable side door mirrors. To the right of the steering wheel column, giving cup holder storage, ionizer button, height of the headlight adjustment, bonnet and fuel flat release, automatic transmission door pedals with a footrest, inner for floor mats. The driver's seat has four manual adjustments for recline, seat height, and the bar for sliding. The steering wheel has manual turn telescope adjustment. Adjust it using the lever right there. On the steering wheel, on the right spoke is the mid mode for the various meter sources, seat trap button. On the left spoke is the volume, voice control. These four buttons control the MRD display, Bluetooth acceptor core. The white right dot is the light and indicator controls, automatic headlights on this one. The left dot is the wiper controls. Engine start stop button, a 4.2 inch MRD TFT display, controlled via these four buttons here. Optitron analog dials on non hybrid trims. EK driving menu includes digital speedometer, driver's info menu, settings menu for vehicle and, and MID.
Lastly, warning menu for vehicle warnings. Single zone automatic climate control for the front, fan speed on the left, different zones, the rear aircon, temperature on the right, AC, recirculation, front and rear defrost off and automatic mode, has light switch right above. For infotainment, the V trim has a 10 inch touchscreen which contains various options for entertainment and connectivity and sound is 6 speakers. Before I show the touchscreen head unit, on the bottom a slot for the USB input, voice control, volume, home and power, these are touch haptic buttons. This is the main menu. The sound quality sounds adequate enough. Audio menu, Citra and manual tuning for radio. Sources bring up USB, Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Scan button. Switch bands of FM AM. Presets allows to save stations up to 6. The video and picture tab allows to view imagery via a connected USB device. Equalizer presets. Quick settings. The home page works like a tablet device. Customize widgets or shortcuts. Phone menu for connecting phone. Connection menu includes Miracast smartphone mirroring and other media connections. Apps menu has My Toyota, Vehicle Notify, Basic Voice Control. Say a command. And wireless car checking. Settings menu mainly includes system settings and, and its system information. I think that's it for the touchscreen. The touchscreen is totally responsive to switch between pages and menus although the shortcuts are not physical buttons. Two USB-C ports for charging, two cup holders, front centre armrest made out of leather, open it up is a huge storage area, manual dimming rear view mirror, front reading lights, Grip handle only for the front passenger side. Driver side sun visor with a car holder. There is a vanity mirror and a light. Speaker for the Bluetooth hands free system. To summarize the Toyota Innova V non hybrid interior, the interior controls and media system are placed high up. They're not too difficult to get used to. The gasoline makes do with a tiny driver's MID. These seats are cloth, it feels such comfortable so you're not in a sticky situation. On the dashboard, there is a mixture of hard plastics and soft materials. Now let's check out the rear seats. The rear doors have exactly the same materials as the front doors. Decent sized door pocket including cup holder for the rear doors. Isofix child seat anchor points for the rear seats. The, rear, the second row rear seats do recline and slide. For rear seat space, I'm a short person. I've got plenty of leg room and plenty of head room. I believe tall people six footers would certainly be fine back in terms of second row rear seat space. Dual 10 inch rear entertainment monitors for the rear occupants. Front seat back pockets on both sides. A hook carrying a maximum of four kilograms. 
automatic rear climate control. This dims or turns off the rear ceiling light. Two USB chargers, flat transmission floor. Rear center armrest with two cup holders. And a LED ceiling light with grip handle with hooks, ceiling aircon vent along with a individual light on both sides. Now let's check out third row rear seat space. To gain access into the third row rear seats, pull this lever here and slide the second row seat forward. For third row rear seat space, I'm a short person. The left side second row seat is slid well back. I've got a small amount of leg room. Under these amount of headroom, I believe tall people, six footers, would be happy back here in terms of third row rear seat space for a medium amount of time. On the right, there is exposed bit storage along with cup holders for both sides. Power outlet there, a rear grip handle on each side along with an additional ceiling vent. Now let's hop on out and check the boot. With all three rows of seats in place is of a huge size, of a great size. On the right is a boot light. On the left there's an additional emergency third headrest for here. Down below the boot floor is a bit of storage. The rear seat, the third row rear seats do fall down if you need extra space. The front passenger seat has the same adjustments as the driver's side, except the seat height. Fire extinguisher there. This has two airbags as standard. Yeah. Illuminated area there, along with power outlet. Glove box, which is of a decent size. This is the end of the video now, like this video, comment down below, select subscribe and don't forget to fully turn on the notification bell so you're alerted for an upcoming video.